said, I want to give you an understanding. One has to understand, one has to understand where I'm coming from. Shazad said, calmly, I consider myself a Muslim soldier. The 30-year-old described his effort to set off a bomb in an SUV, parked at Times Square, goes on to talk about how that Judge Eskim said, didn't you see those women and children? Didn't you see those babies walking in Times Square? He said, they're killing women and children and babies. Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan. I am a Islamic soldier involved in a jihad and a war. Now we don't consider it a war. We're going broke. 60 years ago, the North Koreans came across the 38th parallel and, and, and the Korean War started. I joined just a few months later, young Martin Kent. It ended in June of 1953 because they decided that we couldn't win it. We were losing too many men by brainwashing. We couldn't understand how that some of our soldiers were going from America over into Manchuria and into China and becoming brainwashed never to return to this country again. What is it that we can consider more important than our materialism and our educational institutions? Well, our educational institutions are failing, our materialism is failing, and our churches are failing. Oh, they some got great crowds, and you know how did they get great crowds? By allowing people to feel comfortable while they're still deaf, dumb, and blind. You shouldn't say that. We're at war. They hate us. Why do they hate us? This, this is the Quran. I've read it a couple, three times. It's the holy book of El Islam people. Muhammad, the prophet, declares uh, even though that he could not read or uh, write, but he received uh, these recitations from heaven uh, and the followers wrote them down. How could it possibly affect our world today? Well, this is what we're affected by today. The conflict between Ishmael and Isaac. The conflict... Uh, that Abraham had within his own soul whenever Sarah came and told Abraham, said, you've got to get rid of Isaac, uh, uh, excuse me, you've got to get rid of Ishmael because Isaac is the only heir. But Ishmael was born first. But the Bible said that Hagar was a bondwoman. And the seed from Adam that Jesus Christ had to be pure. Amen. The seed of what? Genesis 3.15, the seed of a woman. Jesus was born a seed of a woman. Amen. Now, if you read the Quran, you'll find that, that all the way through it, it's talking about how that Israel had received the Holy Scripture and had defiled it, had tainted it, had bastardized it, had changed the worship of a pure God that they call Allah in the polytheistic. This is on page 115. 
of the Quran. O mankind, the messenger hath come unto you with the truth from your Lord. Therefore believe it is better for you, but if you disbelieve still, lo, unto Allah belongeth whatsoever is in the heavens and the earth, and Allah is the knower, the wine. O people of the scripture, he's talking now about the Jews and the Christians, the people of the scripture. O people of the scripture, do not exaggerate in your religion or utter aught concerning Allah save the truth. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, was only a messenger of Allah. And his word in the Muslim religion has more respect for Jesus than the average Christian person does. You know why? They're not going to put Jesus as my warrior and I'm a roller skater for Jesus and all that. They do not debase the name of Jesus like the modern religious world is doing. We had a beautiful ceremony the other night. My oldest granddaughter received her full medical family practice along with six others. And the other five were Islamic, Hindu, and Zoroastrians. I think Tiffany was the only one from the United States. We had a great picnic, great good time and all. Amen. Listen to what the, this book says. Their holy scripture. O oh, people of the scripture, the Jew, why do the Muslims hate the Jews? Why is there a Palestinian problem going on today? Amen. These things are rooted in something that happened several thousand years ago. How can these things be? Well, uh, the young Muslim said, you've got to understand me to know how that I can take and give up my wife, my two children, a luxury life. I am a soldier of Allah, uh, 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 of Allah, and, and listen to what it said. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, was only a messenger of Allah. And his word, which he conveyed unto Mary and his spirit with him. So believe in Allah, his messenger, and say not free. Cease. Amen. That the, the, the Jews, the Hebrews, they are upset with them because that Isaac, being second born, was pushed in a place of supremacy and overtaken the birthrights of Ishmael. And whenever Hagar and Ishmael were taken into the Arabic desert and they're given wine and cheese and a promise of God, Abraham came with tears in his eyes and declared unto Hagar and to Ishmael, thou art not forsaken, but you're going to be the father of twelve tribes and your people are going to be nomadic, warlike people under the end time and then they're going to break the yoke. Later we'll find out it was Jacob's yoke come off of your neck. So believe in Allah and his message and say not three, no, not three gods. Amen. 180 A.D. Theophilus of Antioch came up with the term Trinity. And it had two definitions in the Roman Catholic Church in the 326 accepted as three different persons. So whenever Muhammad received what he said were messages from God in 620, and they began to write and bring these together, the Muslim religion spread around the world. They took over all of Europe. They took over the Arabic countries. Later they were driven back. But today they are again taking over the world. Ask the 20 leaders in Canada this morning. Don't ask church people. Don't ask us because 